Okay, so here is the completed dragon. I've added all the almond scales, and he's got claws and eyes and some fire shooting out. I got my backup fire in case this one doesn't work out. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven. So it's 400 degrees. Watch out, Duffy. Middle rack. And in the dragon goes. I also coated it with oil because I wanted to make sure that those nuts have a chance not to burn. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna start with 40 minutes and then I'm moving on to making the jam. Which has released its pectin. And as you can see, it's pretty jam-like already. So I'm gonna add a wee bit of water. Can you do me a favor, love? Would you hand me? Yes, yes, please. Thank you. All right. Let's get that out. That jam looks really hard. It is. It's um, it's solidifying, which is kind of good because that is what you want your jam to be. Yeah. Excuse me, love. Okay. okay. Mama's doing it now. Well, I'm mashing it. Yeah, mashing it down. Not story it actually. I'm mashing it. Mashing. Mashing. And I'm breaking up the berries that are still whole so that it's spreadable. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this now. Get the fuzz up and find a way. Oh, are you helping make the video? Uh -huh. Wow, thank you. So I see it on my on my shows. Uh -huh. up, it can be cool. That's right. That's what they say. Thumbs up, I suppose, are helpful. Um, it's really great. It's coming together just I'm lovely. Okay. Pardon the noise. This is just lovely. I'm very happy about the way this turned out. Scrape that goodness off of there. Mama, yeah? Can you go my bathroom Not right now, love. I'm down here. Oh. Well, welcome to our life. All right. So... I think it's just lovely. I think it's hanging out just fine. I do think I should have mashed it while it was still warm. But this is fine too. It's just stuck to the pan a little bit more than I would have liked it to. That's what muscles are for. All right, and so there we have the blackberry jam and the reason I made blackberry jam is because the story goes that for Michaelmas it has to do I think so ultimately the celebration of Michaelmas is about slaying your own inner dragons which to me means 
handling life and facing your fears. And you want to do that daily. But especially during autumn and the old days, the light started to disappear, right, sooner? And I think it must have been a very unsettling time for people back then. Can you imagine not understanding why suddenly there's less light? They didn't even know whether or not the light would come back. You know, they were in fear that maybe they wouldn't have enough food to make it through the winter. Were they going to be prosperous and have enough to feed their family through these cold, dark days? Would they have enough fire, wood for the fire? And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of questions that arose as these families had to confront their dragons. And part of the story of Mikkelmas is about St. George coming to a village that has been tortured by a dragon. And he bravely goes to, to fight the dragon and slays the dragon. And, and part of my readings and research for Mikkelmas and preparations for it all, I read, it was also so tied in with the blackberry season. After autumn, there's no more blackberries. So the blackberries that you do have were like the last treasures of summer. And also, Satan was kicked down to heaven and thrown into a blackberry bush. Look it up. I'm vaguely remembering everything I read. But it all comes together. It all makes sense. And so I traditionally make blackberry jam to go with the dragon bread because it's all in completion with the season. All right. So we will show you the finished product when it's done of our yes, dragon bread. Up. Oh yeah. <laughs>